Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey y'all and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry and today we're going to talk about setting up Discord for one-on-one roleplay. So yeah, we're circling back to Discord after what feels like forever. And this is something that I didn't really talk about in my previous Discord setup videos is the one-on-one roleplay. How do you set that up? So this isn't really about advertising or roleplay groups or anything like that. What it's about is using Discord's server setup to facilitate one-on-one roleplay. So I'm going to show you two methods. First is the server method, then we're going to have the DM method. Now, of course, you could do the old school thing of just role playing in your DMs and doing like parentheses for the out of character chatter. But I'm not really a fan of this aesthetically. I'm not super into it. And also, if we get chatty, I don't really like scrolling all the way back up to find the last in character post. So these methods are primarily set up to make sure that you have your out of character and your in character stuff separate. So first, let's do the server method. This is the most common one I have seen, and when we go through the DM method, you'll see why. So for the server method, we start out by making a server. Shocking, I know. So we're going to click Add Server over here, and then we're going to do Create a Server, and we're going to give it a name. Okay, then click Create. Now, since this is a server just for you and your partner, you don't need to mess with the roles as we did for our roleplay group server. All you really need to mess with are the channels. So I like to delete the voice channels, as you guys know. You're welcome to keep those if you want, but I'm not gonna use them, so we're deleting them. Then what we're gonna do is have two categories. We're gonna have our out of character category and our in character category. So let's edit this. And let's make a new category. Okay, and then to make a channel in either of these categories, we click the plus button for the appropriate category. So I'm gonna go make some channels and I will be right back to talk about them. All right, and we're back. So these are essentially the channels I recommend making. It's just you and the other person, so you don't have to get too crazy. And if the role play lasts, you can add more. So for out of character, I have this out of character chat channel. This is for chatter, banter, plotting, pretty much any out of character conversation. I will also have a headcanons channel for inspiration. So this is for headcanons, art, music, anything I want to share, but I don't want to get lost in the out of character chatter. Then we have our in character channels down here where the role play actually happens. Now, when I have a partner I really like, I tend to make lots of different ships and lots of different plots with them. So I will have one channel per plot. I've seen others set it up where they have a channel per scene. And this is good too if you like to reread scenes and want to easily be able to find specific parts of the role play that happened. This is also useful if you want a role play that's outside of chronological order. Some people go crazy with channels and will divide out of character things even further. It's whatever works for you as far as that goes. My only real advice here is don't over invest time with a new partner in setting up a server. Because if you're a new partner, you don't know yet how long that role play is going to last. So we don't want to spend a ton of time setting up a server for something that's going to last like a week. So that's the server method. Next, let's talk about the DM method. For this to work, you need a burner account. And now you're probably starting to realize why most people use the server method and not the DM method. But depending on your situation, this might be easier for you. So I'm going to show it. So here's what you do. Let's go into the DMs. So you have your regular DM here for chatting. And then what we're gonna do is set up a group DM with your partner and the burner. So we're going to click group DM and I'm going to find my burner and then create group DM. Voila. All right. So here's what we're going to do next. We want the DM really just to be me and my partner. So let's log in to that burner account. So I'm going to go log out and log into that burner account and I'll be right back. All right. So we're in the burner account and we're going to have the burner account leave the group DM. And then let's go back into our regular account. And now you have a group chat, 
but it's just you and your partner. A friend, of course, could also be the burner if you trust them to leave once the group chat is created, but I would recommend making a burner. So since this is a group chat, we can give it a special name to keep track of the role play. So we can call this role play. And now this is the in character stuff. And this DM here is the out of character stuff. So those are my two methods for setting up a Discord one-on-one -on -one role play. We've got the server method and we've got the DM method. What method do you guys use? What's your favorite? Or is there something else that you guys do that I don't know about? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, whatever engagement features YouTube adds in the future, do it all. What you're seeing on screen right now are the names of all of my $5 and up patrons. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you'd like to be included or get other fun perks, link to my Patreon in the description down below. And as always, don't forget to make it a great day.